hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is solomon jagwe so today i'm back with another quick review uh I've, in the past you've seen me share how to use uh my apple pencil on my ipad uh to sculpt in 3d right and i usually do i use zbrush or blender uh, recently it's been blender but today i wanted to show you a new app that has just been recently released and that is similar to ZBrush. It has almost every feature that ZBrush has, or well, not every feature, but uh, maybe about maybe 50 to 75%. And I think it's gonna improve uh, as you know more users you know take a look at it and also give feedback to the developers. So it's called Nomad, and you can see it right there. And I also have it here on my desktop. The way you get it, you go to the i um, to the App Store and look for Nomad Sculpt, right? Uh, it's not free, so please be aware of that. I think it's a uh, fourteen ninety nine, but it's not subscription. You pay a flat forty ninety nine dollars, and compared to how much you could pay for ZBrush, although for ZBrush I've owned it for a while now, and it's all, all the updates have been free. But still, if you're buying, you're f new to, to to ZBrush, you still have to to pay, you know, way more than the fourteen ninety nine. So this is what it looks like, and this is what I was able to sculpt using my Apple Pencil. So let me show you real quick. Um, it has almost air <laughs> all the brushes that you see in ZBrush. ZBrush has way more brushes than this right but all the key you know like a clay uh, you have the move the drag the smooth mask smudge all those are here so this is what I was able to create with this app and as you can see you can create pretty detailed models and I'll do a quick sculpt here with the clay so that you see and the touch functionality is working so if the responsiveness is pretty cool you know so this is some me sculpting using my apple pencil so this is not zbrush this is nomad and you're able to do a lot of the detailing so off to the side is where you have the, the size of the the brush and you can see it changing over here and also the strength right and you can also use layers so you can layer your creations just simply add a layer and whatever you create on that then you can do so for example if I wanted to add like something like that right on that layer so I can go back to that layer and adjust the power Do you see that so that's pretty cool so you can layer detail as you go along and taper and adjust the power of it as you want. So I think this is a really good, you know, um, companion, uh, especially the, the fact that you can, you're scrapping directly on the iPad Pro and not having to rely on a cable or wireless to your desktop, right? Like I usually use Easy Canvas and uh, Tablet Pro, but in this case, I'm just sculpting directly on the iPad Pro, being able to do the detailing, the layering, uh, the masking. Like, for example, if I use the crease tool, you're able to, I can zoom in here, to add nice creases like that. And yes, it does have have my pressure sensitivity built into it so this is a very good sculpting pro uh, program for the iPad Pro and being able to take advantage of <laughs> the power of the Apple Pencil. Let me 
just strength. And it does support matka. So over here, you can see a selection of the, the matkap and materials that you can use. And you, you can paint as well as sculpt. So it's not just limited to sculpting. You can paint as well in this. Uh, so I've seen some examples of this being used uh, for, sculpt, for painting as well. But as you can see, you can create pretty cool detail. And it includes an, a powerful layering uh, system, uh, system so for example if i create a new layer here let's click uh, click on add layer right and then i sculpt something like for example if i want to add like uh, let's see let me add another clay all right so if i added something here for example if i wanted to add and uh, maybe that's too large And this is like a, a new layer it's definitely on a new layer right now and then i do some creasing so that layer if i go up to the layer area here i can adjust the power so watch what happens in this area right here you see that so I'm adjusting the layering over here, the, the percentage, and how much it's affecting that. So you can do like blend shapes and morphs, you know, to create like these uh, <laughs> detailed adjustable features. So if you don't like a certain way the eyes look, you can create a layer for it and continue sculpting. So I highly, highly recommend uh, this, this app from the app. Again, it's $14.99 but it's great for as an option to uh, zbrush and well blender is free so you have to <laughs> you could take this model from here to blender so this could work together but this is really cool because you can take it on the road you could be at an airport you could be at home it doesn't require a, a wireless con a rather a wi-fi connection or a cable you can sculpt wherever you are in, on your bed, in your living room, on your patio, <laughs> by the pool. Well, not by the pool. <laughs> I don't think this is water resistant. <laughs> but anyways, you, you, you understand what I mean. It's that it frees you to sculpt anywhere. So I also use Forger. That's another 3D program that I use. So this is like a souped up version of Forger with more features and definitely trying to reflect more like the aspects of uh, ZBrush. You know, so I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It's really, really powerful. So guys, please um, give it a chance. Let me know what you think about it. And for those of you who already own an iPad Pro, please give us a try keep give, give this a try and uh, let me know what you think please don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell on my youtube channel kindly share and please click like to support my channel uh, i'll share more insight as i continue to sculpt and i actually want to do like a full from beginning to end sculpt so you can see how it how I'm, I'm able to use this to create detailed models whether it's for concept models and I also even try and see if I can make like hard surface modeling in here, uh, but it's pretty cool because again, it is, it's not connected. It works we, without a cable, right? So this is purely straight on the iPad and it works just like ZBrush works. Yeah, that's what's pretty cool. You can zoom in, pinch is working. So the touch functionality is just like again working using your tablet and the Apple Pencil, I feel like I'm drawing and I'm sculpting, but with an awesome responsiveness, you know, as you can see here. So thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you next time with more insight. Bye for now.